Well, good morning from Two Happy Children Farm. We're going to do a video today about pest management in uh, fall planted sweet corn in Central Texas. I know you can Google it and find a lot of information, so this will probably be redundant because it's all out there on Google because everything's out there. Um, what we're looking at right now is uh, fall army worms here in Central Texas, and they love to get into uh, grassy crops or into pastures. And they're pretty aggressive, so unlike my spring field, um, I wouldn't have this kind of damage yet. Um, we're at four to five collar on this uh, sweet corn, and we're going to need to come through and take care of those army worms. Um, since they are persistent, I'm going to be using a residual. Um, the new one I like is called Corrigan. It's like a BT, but it's uh, meant to slowly release so that um, it can it can last for up to three weeks so any leaf that I spray uh, will be protected and then for a couple more weeks any new growth will be protected as well um, the other pest management issue we have of course is weeds and uh, this field was treated with uh, what was it uh, it was at two leaf stage basically just emerged and we took care of it with uh, impact and we also used my uh, dual magnum at that treatment so this is the first time I'd uh, used dual over the top on sweet corn and uh, we're seeing some grass break through but we have pretty excellent uh, control right now um, that's about two weeks after application so the fields are staying pretty clean um, and that might be something I adopt down the road. Um, my main problem with sweet corn is the residual runs out before my canopy hits. So my thinking now is to start with a clean field and then hit it at um, spike again with my residuals. Um, the other option I have here for grass with sweet corn is called accent, but uh, these guys are one, two, three, four pretty close to off-label right now for spraying accent. It's a V5, V6, I think. Um, so maybe I could get back here in a hurry and spray it. But since it, since we did get the spray, we did get um, plenty of rain to incorporate, which is also a good thing. And uh, the, the crop has grown basically in two weeks from two leaf to where it is now. Um, the other comment I have is we got a really good stand this go around. Um, if you haven't been looking, the uniformity of these plants is really excellent for sweet corn. And uh, I've mentioned before, sweet corn is really hard to do. And it relies on a, on a really uniform stand. Um, if you get any plant at all that gets behind, the, the ear will be unmarketable, probably too three inches too short compared to its neighbors. Um, my other uh, issue here, you might have noticed we have drip tape down and uh, I put 35 units of nitrogen out yesterday and I'll probably hit it again in three weeks as we get closer to tassel with uh, more nitrogen. There's a base of about 120 down right now um, so we'll be able to pull this thing through without any shortage on nutrition. So that gives you some ideas what's going on in a fall planted uh, sweet corn field. Next to me we have an untreated field and you can see the smell melons going crazy. And uh, also next to me on the other side is the field that didn't have good germ at all. And uh, that just shows the challenge it was getting it down and into moisture when it was 100 degrees. So. This is ugly, but that's what happens with sweet corn. You can see that one row unit, it either was totally into moisture so they came up or possibly it was totally dry so the seeds waited until I irrigated. There you go, an update from Two Happy Children Farm, scouting the fall sweet corn and some tips on what we're scouting for. Thanks a lot.